Dear students and parents, Namaskar. Welcome to Career360. Today we are going to discuss an institution which has been really excelling in every since it's been formed. It's an institution that was formed on public-private partnership in Hyderabad and offering only two specialized courses, one is CS and one is ECE. But its performance has been far, far better than many of the IITs and most of the NITs. And the best companies come in. What we're going to do now is to drill down the placement data of IIIT Hyderabad and prove to you of how it is far, far better than many of the IITs and NITs. And please watch till the end because the last slide I'm going to compare IITs with IIITs and you'll understand why we're recommending some of these IIITs. The ranking of IIIT Hyderabad, in my opinion, is very understated. It should be ranked much, much better. In NRF as 47th best engineering institution, in my opinion, they should be between 15 and 20. And I'll tell you the reasons why I'm saying this. As a university, it is ranked 15, but in NRF overall, they rank 101 to 105. In my opinion, it should be less than 50. Right. The, and the reason why you see this data here itself, right? As a university, world university, it's ranked between 501 to 550 in the subject. NAC A grading is A double plus, which is the best that one can get. But the ranking is not sinking in with that. And I'll also show you placement data of why I say that it deserves far better as I move along. But please watch this video till the end because at the last slide, I'm going to show you something which is very, very important, very crucial for you of trying to understand and place it with NITs and IITs and how IIIT Hyderabad performs as compared to them. Remember, this institution only gives two programs, Computer Sciences and ECE. So you must know that at the back of your mind when you're discussing this. Now, the institution itself is established in 98. It's a you know, public-private partnership institution. It was form, formed with the government of Andhra Pradesh those days, along with a, a few private bodies. And NASCOM and TCS and all these partners also stepped in to set up this institution. So, it's got a very pedigreed, uh, you know, way of formation. It's not a public institution. It's a public-private partnership institution. And it's a deemed to be university in 66 acres. And it has a total team strength of 1,741, of which about 80% are males and 20% are females. And more importantly, about 130 faculty out here, from outside the country, you actually have 8% of the students coming in and joining this, this institution. Now, when you actually have about 8% students coming from outside the country, it means it's very aspirational that people want to join this institution. In of data of IIIT Hyderabad is very, very revealing, right? The NRF data essentially shows you how many students are there and so on and so forth. The intake of for the four-year program in 22-23 was 210. Right, for UG five-year program, which is integrated program, is about 120, and PG program was 180. The total number of students in the campus for UG was about 736. For P UG uh, integrated is 614, and uh, for the two-year PG program is 391. Right. Now, if you look at this whole numbers, you obviously want to understand the placement. Right. When you look at the placement in the 22-23 batch for UG, I'm talking of now the four-year UG program. Of the total 150 were students who graduated, right? 140 were placed at a median salary of 30.3 lakh rupees. 30.3 lakh, all the students. It's 100% placement because about 14 students decided to pursue higher studies. Now, when you deal with this kind of a number, where 100% placement at 30.3 lakh rupees, this is extremely, extremely good. I'll also compare it with every IIT and every NIT that is there, uh, every IIIT, the top ones, and show you exactly how it works out. Right. Now, if you look at this data, the, the performance of IIIT Hyderabad in terms of placing its students has been very, very consistent. Over the last three years, it was about 29.353 lakhs uh, in 2021, which became 30.36 lakh and again 30.3 lakh. But the percent placement percentage is 99%, 97%, 8%, and 100%. So consistently, the companies have been coming in and the students were getting almost 100% placement or 100% placement last year. So 176 were admitted, 154 were graduated, 140 were placed, and 14 decided to pursue higher studies. And that is where the 100% came in. 100%, 30.3 lakh is a no-brainer if you were to get into IIIT Hyderabad. Now, Again, because we are talking of placements, let's understand how many companies came in for placement last year. The number of companies that registered to come to for placement is about 335. The number of companies who hired from IIIT Hyderabad is 176. 
the highest package is 64 lakh rupees close to 64 lakh rupees the average package is 20 lakh rupees the median package you have seen is 30 lakh 30 lakh rupees and international offers about 55 of its students of the 140 that were placed 55 got international offers so again the institution is not just reputed in india but outside of india that companies from outside india want to come to triple it hyderabad to recruit students from triple it hyderabad and the companies that are coming for recruitment obviously you actually have the, some of the best amazon microsoft vidya uh, qualcomm facebook uh, meta you name it all kinds of de show so all kinds of companies are there so let's take you through how this triple it hyderabad alumni is doing so one of the things i tell you always is that it is not just about how the current batch is doing but it's also about how the past batches have been doing so that you understand see you, when you get into an institution you're going to be with it for you know for, the, for your lifetime because that degree is with you you are an alumni of that institution so what we did was we wanted to understand how the past students who passed out of triple it hyderabad are doing around the globe around the country and what exactly they're doing and how they're performing in their in, in their career when you look at that on linkedin we looked for about 11896 alumni about 12000 alumni is what we looked for so this is the number of alumni of triple it hyderabad which are right now on linkedin when we research that data right you suddenly realize that the kind of companies that come for placement and the kind of companies that students of uh, uh, you know alumni of triple it hyderabad are uh, you know working on are some of the best out there in Microsoft, you actually have 315 students working at some point in time. Over a period of time, if you look at it, you know, 935 students worked at Microsoft over some at some point in time. In Google, about 679 students worked at some point in time. In Amazon, 661 students worked at some point in time. IBM 430, Oracle 428, Qualcomm 362. And even now, when we speak, as we speak, in Microsoft, 315 students are right now working who studied at uh, IIIT Hyderabad. You have Google 317 students who are working there, Amazon 205, IBM 66, Oracle 104, Qualcomm 121, which also means that these companies actually go for placement at IIIT Hyderabad in all possibility because of which such high numbers are right now working there at the institution. But a lot of you would also want to look at the new age companies, the Vidya, the Apple and those, those kind of things. So we also looked at that data, right? When you look at that data in Vidya, you actually have about 262 students who worked at Vidya at some point in time, of which 87 are currently working. In Salesforce, about 161 worked and 84 are currently working. AWS 134 worked at some point, 62 are currently working. Meta 129 worked at some point and 78 are currently working. Apple 68 are currently working. So when you look at all this data, it simply means that these companies at some point in time or even now are going for placement. The other thing that I will always look at is when you try to you know, evaluate how the students, alumni of an institution are working, they should be working all over the globe and across the country and not concentrated in one part of the world, right? And when we look at that also, again, the alumni of IIIT Hyderabad seems to be excelling. In all, about 27.4% of the students of IIIT Hyderabad are working outside of India. And about 72.6% students are working in India. And within India, if you look at it, in Hyderabad, about 32% students are working, right? Because, you know, it, it's a Hyderabad-based institution. A lot of companies in Hyderabad, a lot of tech companies in Hyderabad possibly are going and recruiting from, uh, you know, IIIT Hyderabad. And if you look at it, then Bangalore, about 14% students are working. In California, about 5% 5, 5 students are working. In San Francisco, Bay Area, 5% students are working. So this between the two is 10%. In US, about 15% students. Of course, the California and Bay Area is a subset of that. In Delhi, about 4% students are working and so, and so on and so forth. So if you look at this, the students who studied at this institution are spread out across the country and across the globe also about 27 percent of its students are working outside of india which essentially means that the institution has really really taught them well that they could spread their wings and fly away and work all over the globe and as i said about 14 and a half percent of this 27 percent are working in usa alone now one more thing that i also told you that i'll show you something which is in terms of data how the placements are happening between triple it hyderabad and even the top iits out there and this is very important for you to know because when you get a decent rank and you don't get cs you just jump on to some other course in because you want to study at iit and that is where i'm coming up with this kind of a data point so that you understand that if you don't get cs or uh, ece out out there it's far better that you come down to triple it hyderabad and work on it because that gives you a very very good placement and i'll show you why i'm saying this right look at this data out here right 
the in IIT Madras, the median salary based on NRF documents is 16.63 lakh rupees. In IIT Delhi, the median salary is 20 lakh rupees. In IIT Bombay, it's 19.63 lakh rupees. In IIT Kanpur, it's 23 lakh rupees. In Kharagpur, it's 24 lakh rupees. But you come to Hyderabad, it's 30.3 lakh rupees. So the median salary offered at IIIT Hyderabad is far better than even the other IITs out there. Of course, this median salary would have been brought down because of the core engineering programs where the offer offers are not as good as what you have in CS. So if you do get CS or IT and all, please go ahead and do it in, in IITs. But if you don't get it and you still want to do CS and uh, or EC or, or those kind of programs, IIIT Hyderabad is a far better bet than studying some other program or compromising on some other program. If you want to do some other program, please go ahead and do it. That I'm not stopping you. But don't fall down or change your branch because you still want to study in IIT. It's far better to choose a course than choose to study at IIT and do a program which you may not like. And it's not just about the percentage, uh, the median salary. Look at the placement uh, rates also. In IIT Madras, the placement rate is 91%. In IIT Delhi, it's 86%. So 14% of its students were not placed. And this is the median that you get even after 14% not getting placed. Bombay is 100% placement. Kanpur is 92%. Kharagpur is just 85% placement. But to come to IIT, IIIT Hyderabad, it's 100%. In fact, all the IIITs, if you see, because they offer those specialized programs in computer sciences and, and technology kind of a thing, the placement rates are 100%, 98%, 99%, 99%, and 100%. So the triple IITs do far, far better than IITs and even NITs when it comes to the core programs because they're essentially do, dealing with only the CS and technology side, uh, side of the programs and they're not dealing with core engineering and that makes it well worth it. And when you look at the cutoff that you have, the cutoffs for some of these institutions go up to about uh, 10,000, 12,000 all. It is far better that you choose the triple IITs than, than jump onto an IIT just because you want to have the IIT tag. Because the IIT tag will not get you a job or a good salary. What you'll get as a good salary is when you study in a very good institution, which is what the triple IITs are. But there are 100% chances that you'll get placed and you'll learn what you want to learn. And the salary is much, much better than what you have at some of the IITs. Now, when you look at all this data, you realize one thing, that triple IIT Hyderabad has been excelling because about 27% of its students are working all over the globe. It's got a 100% placement record and it's been consistent, 29 lakh, 30 lakh kind of a median salary that you're getting. The highest salary is about 60, 75 lakh rupees the, and the median salary is about 30 lakh rupees. Very, very consistent, mind you. And the best of the companies seem to be going there. The best of the tech companies seem to be going there for placement. And you have all the trillion dollar companies, the Apple, the Vidya, the Microsoft, the Google, uh, the Meta, all these companies seem to be going there because a lot of its alumni are working in those companies. So with all these things, and the fact that at a slightly lower cutoff also, you're likely to get admission into the, uh, these institutions. I would strongly, strongly recommend that you must look at IIIT Hyderabad as one of the very good options if you're not in the top 500 rank. Now, we put all this data together so that you can decide based on information and data and not based on perception. We, you know, research through the thing and all the data that we're giving to you is from third party sources or from regulatory or, or government authorities. It is not from coming from a marketing brochure. I would, if you still have any questions, please write to us or comment be below this video and I'll be more than happy to look at that and maybe do another video or give a clarification at some point in time. But I want you to engage with this thing, pass this on to anyone that you would, uh, you know, you think will help, uh, it will help someone else. And if you really are interested in the kind of content that we create, please, please subscribe to the channel because it's very important for us to ensure that this kind of information reaches out to every single student so that they take a more informed career call. Thank you so much. Namaskar.